Guys, we came up to the antique store real quick because the wife had to pick up a couple things from uh, the basement. Hey, hey, I'm on vacation every single day because I love my occupation. Hey, 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 I'm on vacation. If you don't like your life, then you should go and change it. In our inventory, so I had went out today and I had bought some stuff. I paid $50 for everything that you see right here. Um, I got the two crates that the guy I had make for me. Um, I'm going to be selling these in the antique store for about 15 bucks a piece. They are absolutely beautiful uh, little crates. Um, he makes them out of pallet wood. I pick them up for about 5 bucks a piece. And um, he's going to make them for me. I told him to make me a couple more. Uh, just because I think they're really, really cool. I picked up this lot of skeleton keys here for 20 bucks. Um, and can you pick out, can you pick out the one that's the best? Can you pick out one of the cooler ones here? Let's see if you can. If not, I'm going to let you guess. It's this one right here. It's this one. It's a king cutter. See, that's a king cutter. Uh, skeleton key. That's That one alone sells for about 12 bucks by itself. Um, the rest of these I can put in the store here and probably get about four bucks a piece for them. Out, four bucks, three or four bucks a piece out of them depending on um, if they are got a name on them or not. But uh, I'll probably look them up on eBay and see if any of them are, uh, are, are special. I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 of them for uh, 20 bucks. So essentially, um, essentially I uh, uh, picked them up for... Uh, like a like a like like up what two bucks a piece um no i paid 20 bucks so i got them a dollar a piece this is a local brass advertising um thing here it's really cool it's uh it was the democrat news you can't really see it anymore but that's a neat little knife it was just in this lot of stuff here i got these two really cool pair of uh vintage glasses they are not gold filled unfortunately it'd be really cool if they were um but at least I looked at them and I didn't see them marked anywhere. I got a couple of these safety razors. I do not know what this is. Does anyone know? It's a hook of some sort. And there's nothing written on it anywhere. But it's got that hook right there. Um, and that's what the head of it looks like. I wasn't sure if it was for what it was for. I mean, I would imagine maybe for yarn or darning or I, I don't know. I, I'm not even going to. I don't know. Um, I picked this up. This is really cool. It says, uh, have a Coke and it's a Coca-Cola bottle opener. It's in really good shape. I love that. And I picked up five of these vintage, uh, nails. They really aren't worth anything, but they just came in that bag of stuff. And I thought they were really cool. Um, I paid $10 for this, this, these coasters, these two items, this little cigarette lighter, or cigarette ashtray and then this and then this what I really wanted out of it was this these that little coke thing and then I like these casters they don't all match that's the odd man out there but they're still really cool and then I paid uh, I think I paid ten dollars for this bag here and these are all ceramic casters and they are really good shape this is an ashtray from Catalina Island um, ain't really worth much. I don't know. It'll probably, I don't know if I'll even try to sell it. Um, if anyone's interested in it, I would sell it cheap. Just let me know. And then I've got this little bell here, which needs to be tightened up a little bit, but I kind of like the little bell. I might try to sell it. I don't know. Got these awesome little scissors here. These things are so cool. I love the, the look of them. I don't know what they would be called, but if you have some, if you know what these are, let me know. They're still really tight. They're really, really good. Probably a little sewing scissors. So that's everything that I got here. And I paid 50 bucks for all of it. Um, it's my guy, my guy Keith. So I was pretty happy to get it. Um, these keys, I should make all my money back on these keys. And then the rest of it's just gravy. Those will sell really well on eBay. These will probably go to eBay. These might go to ebay those will definitely go to ebay probably all this stuff will be ebay to be honest um except for the the the, the tote or the crates they'll probably 
stay here in the store and be sold. But that's pretty much everything that I got um, from the one place that I stopped today. I do have some stuff in the car. And what I'm going to do is when I get home, I'll show you the rest of it. Where are you going, pig? Where are you going? You dragging them jams. Say bye. Oh, sorry, not today. Can you say bye? Nope, not today. It, we finally made it home. She's going to get Piglet out of the car. But this is some of the stuff that we picked up today. Um, these are some Bibles that I got. I got this awesome uh, Mismal. That's really cool. And then I got this uh, Revised Standard Edition Red Letter. This is beautiful. Nice leather cover Bible. And then this is really cool. This is an absolutely fantastic shape. But this is a late 1800s um, Bible. It was dedicated to somebody in 1906, but I believe it was printed um, in the late 1800s, like 1898, 1899. I don't see anything in here. This is all of that airplane stuff that I got the other day. As you can tell, there is a ton of it here, and some of it's still in the plastic. And it's in really good shape, but it is filthy. So I'm going to sell it just like this in one huge lot. Show you guys. I wanted to show you guys this. This is a buy that I made the other day. It is a PS2 Slim. Um, I paid 15 bucks for it. I don't know if it works. I just bought it and figured that I would give it a shot and see if it works. If it doesn't work then you know i'm out 15 bucks but i figured i'd give it a shot uh they're pretty valuable the ps2 slims this one's kind of scuffed up a little bit but it did come with uh, a couple of games and then it's got a couple of uh, ps2 controllers with it one is oem and the other one is an aftermarket so i figured that even if uh even if, if it works everything works good with it i can get probably 45 bucks out of it and I didn't even see what games came with it. Looks like it's got World Champion Poker, some kind of racing game, um, another racing game, uh, Twisted Metal Black, or Twisted Metal Frogger, and then Risk Global D. So I don't know, and there was a game in the console, so I'll take that back to the... Uh, I've got two video game consoles to test out, so I'll take that back and probably Wednesday at the store. I will test it out and make sure that it works so that I can get it uh, listed up on eBay. The last couple of things that I got, I picked up this Notre Dame uh, Fighting Irish. It's in really good shape. Uh, this little starter uh, pullover, it is a size large. I paid two bucks for it. And then I picked this up for my wife. I picked up this beautiful little collie dog. I finally got my grass cut here. Um, I man, I keep way too much, <laughs> way too much yard cut. I've got to get somebody to come in and cut my lower field there. It's starting to get thorn trees growing up in it. I've got a guy that takes care of. Uh, he keeps cattle out here and stuff. I'm gonna have to get him up here to. Uh, to get these fields cut because uh, I don't want a bunch of thorn trees growing up. They're bad. I hate thorn trees. There's one of them down here, right here, this big one, right, right there, if you can see it. It's, every time I cut grass, it gets me. This is my bell. Let's see if there's any wasp nest up in there. Looks like there was some. That's pretty much so that's pretty much it for the day. We've got to take the boys into a soccer game. I do want to uh, give one really cool person a shout out real quick. His name is Scott Roberts. He follows me on YouTube and uh, he purchased a really cool little uh, theater card from the Chicago theater. Um, it was uh, the Olympic Theater, and I believe it was from Chicago. He bought it, and he said, that he goes, a buyer's note, he goes, I'm a watcher and a huge fan of yours. 
watch all your videos. Uh, can I get a shout out in a video uh, for my store? LOL. Your brother, you never met Scott. Well, Scott, I don't know what store you're talking about. I don't know if you have a brick and mortar store, or I don't know if you're talking about your eBay store, but message me and let me know, and um, I will definitely give you a better shout out. I'll put a link to your store in the description of this video. I would be happy to do that. And if anyone else is interested and you want to buy something from me on eBay, that would be cool too. I got the link to my eBay store. It's in the description of all my videos. And I really appreciate you guys for watching. Thank you so much. God bless you guys. Keep on digging and keep on picking. And remember, the family that picks together... Sticks together. Sticks together. I like everything about it.